Hello everyone, this is Minister LT, and it's always a blessing to be in the presence of the Lord. It's an honor to seek and glorify His holy name. It's a blessing to shout out His holy name. It's a blessing to praise Him, to seek Him, to chase after Him each and every day with all your heart today. Uh, we just can't thank you enough for your grace and your mercy and your love today, Jesus. You're everything today. Ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to be talking about you only need two ingredients in life. And those two ingredients that you need, all you need is Jesus and faith. So that's what we're going to be talking about today. That's all that you need in life. You just need Jesus and faith. Some of y'all feel like that you got to be born to a wealthy family just to make it. No, you don't. All you need is Jesus and faith. Some of y'all feel like, oh, if I, knew, if I knew the right person or if I knew that person. No, you don't. The only thing you need is Jesus and faith. Don't you have Jesus and faith? He will make everything all right. And I believe I believe and declare today that whoever it is I'm talking to today, you will know that's the only thing that you need to get back. That's the only thing you need for Jesus to open up the door. That's the only thing you need that Jesus so he can move on your behalf. You just need Jesus in your faith. And you will see what he can do for you. Amen. Amen. And before we get started, I always like to take the time out to give our Heavenly Father God all the thanks, all the praise, and all the glory. Oh, Heavenly Father God, we just can't thank you enough for this awesome and beautiful, blessed day today. We can't thank you enough for your love today. We can't thank you enough for your presence today. We can't thank you enough. Can't thank you enough for our health today and our strength today. We can't thank you enough, oh Heavenly Father God, because you are more than a conqueror, Heavenly oh Father God. We just can't thank you enough because you're still on the throne performing miracles and wonders today. We can't thank you enough for the air that we breathe. We can't thank you enough for the clothes and shoes that you put on our back. We can't thank you enough for the shelter that you provide for us and our family. We can't thank you enough, Jesus, for our strength. We can't thank you enough for our health. We just can't thank you enough because when people turn their back against us, you never will. We can't thank you enough because you the one died on that cross for every last one of our sins. We just can't thank you enough for your grace and your mercy. That's why we're here today, Jesus. We just can't thank you enough for how awesome and marvelous you are. That's why we're going to keep thanking you. We all going to keep praising you. And we all going to keep glorifying your holy name in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we're about to get into this word. And today I would love for you to turn your Bible to Psalms 16. And we're going to read from verses 5 through 11. That's Psalms 16, verses 5 through 11. And if you have your Bibles open and ready to receive this word today, shout out, amen. Amen, let's begin. The Lord, you have signed me, my portion, and my cup, you have made my lot secure. The boundary lines have fallen for me in pleasant places. Surely I have the life of inheritance. I will praise the Lord who counsels me even at night. My heart instructs me. I have set the Lord always before me because he is at my right hand and I will not be shaken. Therefore, my heart is glad and my tongue rejoice. My body also would rest secure because you will not abandon me to the grave, nor will you let your Holy One see decay. You have made known to me the path of life. You will fill me with joy. In your present with eternal pleasures at your right hand. And that's what Jesus is telling you today. The only thing you need is Jesus and faith to get by. The only thing you need is Jesus and faith. And Jesus will turn things around in your life. And I'm just going to be real brief with you. And you know, I'm a man of God. You know, some ministers or some pastors won't, take, won't be bold and tell you, things was going on, but I'm a man of God and I don't have nothing to hide and, and I don't tell no lies. I can recall back when my wife and I, when we when we first got married, it was happy in the, at first. But then as we started getting married, our road started getting bumpy a little bit. Right? It started getting bumpy a little bit. Then our marriage started getting a little turmoil, started getting a little trouble. Now some people, they would have ran to their pastors and asked for counseling. Some people would have went to a psychiatrist and spent thousands and thousands of dollars. The only thing I needed was Jesus in my faith. So I went to my real counselor. My real counselor, I told him what was going on with me. I told him what was going on with my wife. I said, Jesus, now. 
My marriage is in your hand. You take over me. You take over my wife. You take over my marriage. Only thing I needed was Jesus and my faith. Once I handed over to Jesus and my faith, my marriage got better. Then it came a time. My wife and I, we're still trying to have children. And it was a time we went to one doctor. One doctor said, oh yeah, everything's good. Then we went to another doctor. Another doctor said, uh, something wrong. Then we went to the third doctor. The third doctor said, well, Mr. Willis, I think we might need to um, have surgery so we can perform the measure that your wife had these kids. So my wife looked at me and said, baby, what you going to do? I said, baby, the only thing I need is Jesus and my faith. And she looked at me and she was like, you're not going to go with that? I said, no. So I came home. I went to my room. And I opened up my closet door and I prayed to my doctor, the real doctor. My doctor who I'm talking about is named Jesus. I said, Jesus, I know that you're going to make a way. I know that you're going to make sure that my wife and I have the children that we've asked for, the children that we prayed for, the children who you spoke to me a couple of times ago. So when I spoke to Jesus about this child, my wife asked me again a week later, she said, baby, are you still going to go to the doctor and perform and have that surgery done? I said, baby, only thing too only two things that I need in life, Jesus and my faith. And she looked at me positive to my, are you sure? I said, sweetheart, I'm, I'm positive sure. Only thing I need is Jesus and my faith. And guess what I got going on? Jesus and my faith. And he's still going to make a way for my wife and I to have his children. That's the only thing I need is Jesus and faith. Then, I, I've been praying for this ministry for so long. So when Jesus showed me a way, he showed me the social media way. He showed me Instagram way. He showed me YouTube way. So since then, I've been ministering online every day since then. And about a couple of days ago, my wife said, Baby, I think, I think you might want to start working in the church and start doing things. I said, Sweetheart, if it's in God's will, if that's what he wants me to do. She said, But I think if you want, want God to do more, for you to mention. I said, sweetheart, again, if it's in God's will, if that's what he want me to do. Everybody's not going to lie you to minister in that church. Everybody's not going to lie you for me to preach the way I'm preaching in that church. So I told her, I said, if God led me the way to YouTube, I'm going to continue to work and preach on YouTube. I know if he started me in this ministry, he's going to end me in this ministry. I know whatever he started, he's going to make sure he's, he's going to prevail. I know whatever I ask for and pray for and sacrifice for, he's going to provide a way for me. Only thing I need is Jesus and my faith. That's what I told him. And that was somebody going through the day right now. Some of y'all think that you need a certain a certain individual for you to make it in life. Some of y'all think that you need to be raised in a family who have a lot of money for you to make it in life. You don't need that. Only thing you need is Jesus. And the only thing you need is faith. As long as you have Jesus and long as you have faith, everything gonna be okay. Then the only two ingredients that you will ever need in your life is Jesus and faith. Now, I don't know who I'm talking to today, but I know I'm talking to somebody today. Somebody is going crazy today. Somebody wishing, oh, I wish I wish I knew this person right here. Oh, he got all the connections. I knew, I wish I was born in, in this family right here. They got all the money right here. My brothers, my sisters, the only two ingredients that you need in life is Jesus and faith. As long as you have Jesus... And as long as you have faith, everything's going to be okay. It might not happen right then and now. But as long as you got Jesus, which he always let you, he always will be with you. Because the word of God said he will never leave you or forsake you. The word of God says you have faith, sad as a mustard seed. As long as you got Jesus, and as long as you got faith, why well, Jesus going to work for you? You will see what he will do for you. You will see what he will bring you into. The same people who you wishing who had no connection, the same people who was born born with that money, who you think they had for them to get what they get at? They got it. They had Jesus. And they had faith. Some of y'all really need to know that. Quit assuming that these people who you looking up to, and quit looking at these people who you figure out that you're what you need for you to get your big break. For all of them to have that big break, they needed Jesus. They counted on Jesus. Day in and day out, and they and they relied on their faith. So if they did it, and I'm telling that Mr. LT doing it, I want y'all guys to do the same thing. 
The only two ingredients that you need ever, ever in your life is Jesus and faith. As long as you have those two, watch how Jesus work everything out for you. Right now, Mr. LT is sitting back and just waiting patiently. Because why? I have Jesus. Second of all, I have faith. And I know he's going to provide. I know he's going to make a way. I know that. I say it confidently. I say it proudly. Why I say it like that? Because I believe in him. I trust him. And I believe in my faith. That I know I serve an awesome and amazing God. That he's going to get us through. He's going to prepare everything I don't ask for. He's going to break everything I have prayed and sacrificed for. Not only for me, he's going to do it for my wife and also for my family. And he's also going to do it for y'all. Only thing you need is Jesus and you need faith. And watch what Jesus will do for you. Now before I close, I'm willing to ask somebody today. Are you willing to say all I need is Jesus and faith today? If, she, if that's you today, my sister, amen. If that's you today, my brother, amen. Because that's all you need. That's all you need, the two ingredients in the world. And them two ingredients right there will take you places that you ever imagine. Those two ingredients right there will take you places that you even thought that you would be. Jesus will open up all kind of doors with those two ingredients. Jesus and faith. This is Minister LT. If you agree and you receive those two ingredients, that's the only thing you need is Jesus and faith. Watch Jesus take off. Watch Jesus do some amazing things in our life. I believe and I declare that right now in the mighty name of Jesus. He's going to make a way for us in Jesus' name. Amen. And before I close, I would like to end with a prayer. Can you please pray with me? Lord Jesus, I ask of you to come into my life, to take over, to guide me, direct me, use me, so we can build a relationship with you. And I believe right now, in the mighty name of Jesus, by y'all praying a simple little prayer, that God is already working everything out in your life right now. And if you ever want to get in contact with me or leave me a comment my youtube channel is withers.lt or you can leave me a comment at my instagram at letarius withers just remember y'all the only two greetings that you need all you need is jesus and faith it's minister lt i love y'all y'all stay blessed in jesus name amen